Hi there, and welcome to this Open Solar tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be running you through our new SLD feature. We're so excited to be showcasing this new feature. It's one of our most highly requested enhancements, so I really hope you enjoy it. So to generate an SLD, I'm just going to hop into this existing project here, and you'll see on the top right that we've actually added a new tab in the project section called SLD. Um, but firstly, of course, you're going to need to make sure that you've designed your system in the design zone. In this case, I've set up a project with three different system options. So we've got one solar only option and then one option with a DC battery and one option with an AC battery. And OpenSolar can model all three of these system types in our SLDs like I'll show you in a second. So once you're happy with your design, you can head into this new SLD tab and you'll see to the left here, um, in this drop down text section, you have your three system options that you've created. So you can just go ahead and select the option that you've installed. Um, the template will default to the country of your organization. So um, in this case, it's defaulted to Australia. But if you want to design um, a project in another country, you can select the um, available country from this drop down section here and then just hit apply. So to start off with, I'm just going to show you this solar only template, hit apply, and you can see that the default SLD diagram has populated here. So you can see we've automatically generated this visual representation of all the components. Um, so such as your main switch, you can see your inverters, you can see your panels, and you can see exactly how these components are laid out. Um, if I just show, quickly show you how the battery SLDs generate. So for the DC batteries, you'll see that it's exactly the same, but you've just got your DC connected battery down here. And then for your AC battery, you'll see that your AC battery will, um, along with the AC isolator, will generate up the top here. Um, down the bottom, you can see all of the system specifications. So things like the hardware that's been used for your modules, inverters, and your batteries. Um, you can see the total VOC and the, t and the total ISC. Um, and you can also see, um, you know, things like the stringing. And you'll also see that like all of OpenSolar's documents, um, the SLD is white label um, and it'll populate your company logo here. So if there's any information that you haven't entered into your project, it'll appear as not specified. Um, but apart from that, all of these elements are auto populated as per your design. Um, and just to show you quickly what the UK template looks like, so I'm just going to hit UK and then hit apply. Um, so you can see that we just have a few different components being reflected here, like the utility meter um, and the distribution board and things like that. Um, but the system specifications um, are exactly the same as the AU template. Um, so once again, they're just automatically being pulled from your design. So one of the best things about our SLD template is that it is completely customizable. So you can add or remove um, all of these shapes and all of the text if there's anything that you don't like. Um, and you can also move any object around just by um, clicking and dragging. And for objects, you can do things like change the color. Um, you can change things like the gradient, the line type, and you can also, of course, edit the text. So say if you want to edit any text such as this main switch, um, you can just double click into it, um, add any text or delete any text that you don't like, and also change things like the font and the style. So yeah, completely customizable. Feel free to, um, you know, make it true to your brand and make it suit all of your sort of business needs. Um, cool. And then to delete an object, you can just right click on that object um, and then either hit delete or cut. And then you can also duplicate certain objects just to make it quicker for you guys. Um, so once you've completed your SLD, you'll need to save it by clicking on file and then hitting save. And then if I head into the info page and refresh the page, you'll see that the SLD is actually generated in this project file section. So once you hit download, um, you can download basically an SVG format of the diagram like this one here. And then the SLD will also automatically populate in any other document that has the embed connection diagram placeholder. So for example, the owner's manual. So if I just pull up the owner's manual for this particular project and then scroll down a little, you'll see that the SLD has automatically populated in the owner's manual as well. So to ensure that the SLD is inserted into your document templates, um, you'll just need to head to control, other, um, and then document templates, click edit on the document that you would like it to populate in. 
So for example, in this case, if I wanted it to be in my owner's manual, I'll just scroll down to the place where I want to show the SLD. And then all I'm going to do is add a placeholder and the placeholder that you want to add is embed connection diagram. Hit search and then just select that. And once you've hit save, then the SLD will populate automatically um, in that particular document where you've applied that placeholder. So that's about it for this tutorial. I really hope that you found this informative. Please reach out if you have any questions or issues. And yeah, we really hope you enjoy this feature. See you next time.